Hi, gorgeous, beautiful friend. It's me, Robin. Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. I'm sending you so much love and a big hug today, and I'm really looking forward to talking about this with you. This topic is something that I get a lot of letters on, and um, people, of course, bring this up in their sessions very often, and that is, what makes me spiritual? What kinds of things do I need to be doing in order to be a spiritual person? I'm doing these air quotes, which means take it, it's a little grain of salt, my friend. Spiritual people? Are you kidding me? You are a spiritual person. Let me ask you a couple questions. Do you remember the light that you are? Do you remember where you feel you come from on a regular basis? Do you look out in nature and see the creation energy at play? Do you feel a connection to your inner being, your inner light? Are there ways that you have about um, remembering with awe and wonder who God is for you? Yeah? Okay, you're a spiritual person. There's no habit that makes you one. There's no uh, practice in order to be one. There's nothing you need to do to earn your status, okay? You don't have to earn your status, you just are. You just are a spiritual being in a human body, having a life, having an experience. And so these things that worry you, you know, a lot of us have habits we're constantly worried about, not being spiritual enough, not being um, good spiritual people if we do these things. I'm going to tell you something. It's not true. It's not true. Anybody can tell you that there is a, a surefire 10 step process to becoming spiritual. <laughs> and that's their way. That's not your way. You want to tune into your inner sparkle, your inner spirit, and ask him or her what your right way is. For me, it's always been about remembering the light from where I come from, you know, studying things. I've got my Course in Miracles book here. I've got a little mini um, scripture book I love. Uh, it's sitting down every day and doing my meditation practice. And all of that is to connect to the inner being, the inner light that I am. I have never suffered more. This is the truth. I have never suffered more than when I tried to give up eating meat in order to get somewhere on my practice, in order to hear guidance more clearly. Um, you know, I stopped eating meat. I gave up sugar because um, I thought it was making me not balanced. Um, times with alcohol, times with um, watching TV, you know, uh, stricter meditation practices, more rigorous yoga practices, anything you do, basically, in the name of getting somewhere better is going to have an element folded into the practice of not getting better. Why not practice loving and accepting yourself exactly as you are, giving yourself the blessing every single day, um, acknowledging the light that you are every single day, and develop your own way of communing with spirit, communing with God, connecting with nature or the creative essence of the universe. If you have habits that you're worried about that make you feel make you less spiritual. You're worried. If there are things you do, you're worried people will find out and then they'll know that you're not as good as you say you are. Then work on that story. Don't just give up 
eating meat or smoking or drinking or sugaring because you don't want people to find out that you're bad. That just keeps the story perpetuated, doesn't it? It just keeps making it worse for you. You just keep deepening the groove of your own suffering. Truly, I tell you, you're beautiful and perfect exactly as you are, exactly as you want to live right now. You know, everybody falls out of balance in their own way. And if anything is being used to excess, it's a problem. You know, just like spiritual practices to excess is not really doing it anymore. It's escaping. So be kind, be gentle, be loving with yourself, be loving with your practice and give yourself some slack here. You are a spiritual person exactly as you are and the world needs you exactly as you are you have a light to shine and a message to share that's it's unique and authentic to you babe just be that you don't need to wear a poster you know i ate or a t-shirt i ate three hot dogs and a milkshake i smoked two cigarettes and i had the six pack and i love god you know, none of that is connected. But I know how we're so attached to the story of perfection. And there's some idea that in giving up certain things, we can become closer to God. And you're going to find your own right way of this. You are. But really, I just wanted to share a message with you that you're okay in exactly this body with exactly these habits, with exactly these joys and wants and wishes, and exactly those TV shows and movies and books. Um, you're perfect. You're lovely. And you're part of the kingdom of heaven, as they say in the Bible. You're part of, you know, you are source energy, as Abraham Hicks would say. Um, you are a spark of the divine, a child of God, as the Course in Miracles would say. None of anything of what you do changes that fact. It just is. So enjoy what you enjoy. If you're getting out of whack with it, then that's not enjoying it. Then we can talk about that anytime I'm here. You can email me, hello at robinhallett.com. I'm here to help you. Uh, shine and also to love yourself so deeply exactly as you are as you are as you are as you are be you it's okay it's great it's necessary we need you just as you are so you know maybe the defensiveness around the things you love maybe that's the thing you got to work on you don't need to defend yourself for what you love. Maybe that's where you need to start to do the practice for yourself. All right. Just wanted to share a little message of light with you today. Sending so much love. It's Robin. You know, make sure to subscribe over here. Press like so I know this was a good topic for you. And I love to create more like this. Okay. See you later, alligator. Bye.